what kinds of things that they offer that's motivating? Like a project, the lava lamp. The lava lamp? The homemade one. Do you, what technology do you like in the classroom? Uh, the computers and the new hardware, the beadworks. The beadworks. Is that part of Culture Club that you do that? or? Yeah. What makes certain teachers stand out from the other ones? They're, they're fun. They make it fun? Yeah. Yeah. Well, just astronomy. You like astronomy. And anything yeah. about it? Just, just cool. Hey, you've, what technology in particular do you like? Um, computers. Computers? Okay. How about the smart boards, too? Yeah, smart boards. All right. And how do you respond to opportunities to learn about your culture? Feel good? Yeah, it feels good. And what in particular have you done that you really like? Just learn my language. And you mentioned to me you would love to be an astronomer. Yes. And I see you have an interest in the Air Force. <laughs> how long have you had that interest? Ever since my uncle came home. What do you think is important for teachers to know about you? Religion, culture, mm -hmm. and rapper ways. Like. Mm -hmm. What do you think makes a really good teacher? One that disciplines their students, actually has a one on one with you, that they actually try to like, teach you it. If you can't understand something, you actually talk with them mm -hmm. about what you're learning and to have more information about what you're learning. Like what kinds of technology is used in the classroom that you really like? Computers, smart boards. Smart boards, you like? Mm-hmm. Because you can actually see what they're looking at instead of going over to the computer. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And do you, do you use them quite often, the smart boards? Yeah. Nice. Now that they got them installed. So what kinds of things have you learned about your culture, I remember, learned, in the classroom? I learned that we're sacred, but you like, it's like artistic kind of thing. And we have a culture club. A culture club, very nice. What do you do in your culture club? We bead. We bead, oh. and then we're going to learn how to sing. And, like, what else are we going to do? We're going to look at our cultural heritage and all kinds of stuff. Like, you would have to pick a part, but you had to, like, use expression. Oh, there's a bunch of different plays. Okay. Yeah. So you like acting? <laughs> yeah, that too. Yeah, challenged me. Like it wasn't comfortable at first, but... But I got into it. You got into it. You took a risk. Yeah. Is there something that you would like to do as a job in the Air Force? Mm, I mean, just about the planes. Yes. I like that. How about being a pilot? Yeah. You can do that. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, thank you. I appreciate it, Sue Anna. Okay. Thank you. And I see that you're interested in science and social Math. studies. Yes. What do you think teachers should know about you? Well, basically all my teachers know everything about me, from like my personality to my attitude. Good. So every single one of them know everything almost basically. Is it a very positive attitude? Yeah, sometimes I'm on a negative because I either have a bad day or I don't know. Sometimes what makes a good teacher is when they're very positive. Sixth graders can not be afraid of learning and being in middle school with other kids, like seventh and eighth. And eighth graders, for them to be encouraging to eighth graders so that they can be successful in high school. Sometimes, well, mostly they do share parts of their lives of being motivated. And I like technology and writing, old school. Just to learn about my culture and um, my classrooms is, I like it. Sometimes I like to learn about the settlements and how everything was in the past and all that with others and other tribes and learning about all that. I usually go to either my elders, some of them. Very good. But a couple of them I used to always go to, well, three of them. They're my grandpa and my grandmas. Very nice. But they passed on. I understand. And it's kind of hard for me right now because like, some of the words I get mixed up with and I don't know who to ask. But there's mixed word term, but I understand. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. But you, you carry them with you. Yeah. They're still with you. Yeah. I'm trying to keep them alive.
That's right. Because they say that when an old person goes, their knowledge goes with them. Yes. So I try to learn as much as I can before. And you're and honoring I, them by doing that. Yeah. We was doing experiments and all that. Uh huh. And we did this. Me and my partner did a um, fire thing. And we lit it and it changes to colors and all that. And then we did this pe um, Pepsi and something like that. Mentals in a volcano light. That really did a rough. That was cool. I like to try and be a um, nurse, registered nurse. That's what I try and go for because it takes three or four years. So I'm trying to, um, my goal is that. Let me go. Very nice. And by doing that, you can honor your your family, your grandparents, yeah. and, and everyone, and uh, succeed. Yeah.